Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix any lag or stuttering issues in PUBG. So if you're having issues with lag or stuttering or FPS drop, then keep watching as I'm going to show you how you can improve the performance of your game. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the start menu and just search for task manager and then bring up the task manager window. The first thing we're going to do is just close down any background applications that we're not currently using. And to do this, you just need to right click on the process that we're not using and come over to end task. Now, just make sure to only close down applications that you're sure what they are as you don't want to end up closing down an important Microsoft service. So once we've closed down our background applications you then need to head over to the startup apps tab and from here we're just going to disable any applications that we don't need starting up when we first turn on our computer. So once again to do this you just need to right click on the application and come over to disable and all this is going to do is it's going to stop this application from automatically starting when I turn on my PC. This is important because obviously the more background background applications are running on your computer, the slower your computer is going to run. So as you can see here, most of my applications are already disabled. And once we've done this, we can close out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head over to the start menu, search for run, and then click on the run icon. In the search box down here, type in MS config and then hit enter. Come over to the services tab and you need to select this box down here for hide all Microsoft services. Make sure to select this, this is very important. And then come over to disable all, click on apply and OK. And you will need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect. But for now, we can select exit without restart. The next thing we're going to do is head over to the start menu, search for settings, and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side, come over to the gaming tab, click on game bar, and you want to turn off and disable this Xbox game bar unless you are using it, which many of you won't be. And once we've switched this off, we can come back out of here, head inside of the game mode, and we're going to turn the game mode on. And this is going to apply some optimal optimizations for our PC. Then head over to the system tab from the left hand side, come to display, scroll all the way down to graphics, click on change default graphic settings at the top and make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned on. Then come back over to the previous window, scroll down to this list of applications and inside of here, we're going to add PUBG. So to do this, just come over to the browse button over here. And usually the PUBG application is located in your C drive. Come down to program files x86, come all the way down to Steam, come down once again, and we need to select Steam apps, come into common and down here, you'll see PUBG folder, click on this, come Come over to TSL game inside of binaries win64 and we're going to add this exec pubg.exe double click on this and as you can see this is added the pubg launcher what we need to do is come into options make sure high performance is selected and then press save and we also need to come back over to the top and hit browse again head back over to this pubg folder and this time we're going to add TSL game.exe and that's going to add the TSL game so come back into options and also select high performance and hit save once you've done that, we need to head over to apps from the left hand side, click on installed apps. And from here, I'd recommend uninstalling any applications on your computer that we don't currently use or need. And you can even order this to which ones are using the most amount of space by coming over to sort by and clicking on large to small. So you can see the biggest application on my computer is Adobe Premiere Pro. So just go through this list of applications and go ahead and uninstall any applications that we don't need. Once you've done that, head over to Windows Up update from the left hand side. And finally, we're just going to press this check for updates button. This is important because new software releases contain bug fixes and performance enhancements and things like that. So just make sure you're fully up to date here. Once you've done that, we can close out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head over to the start menu, search for run, and then click on the run icon. In this search box, type in the word temp and hit enter. And then we're just going to select everything inside of here by pressing control A on your keyboard and then coming over to the trash icon to delete it. Select do this for all current items and press continue. And that's going to go ahead and delete all of your temporary files. If you get this message pop up, just press do this for all current items and hit try again. If it doesn't let you delete a couple of files, that's absolutely fine. We can just close out of this window and then we're going to come back over to the start menu, search for run again and click on the run icon. This time search for percentage sign temp percentage sign and hit enter. And once again, just select everything inside of here, right click and then select the trash icon. Click on continue do this for all current items and hit try again. So once we've deleted the majority of files and folders, we can close out of this window, then come back over to the start menu, this time search for disk cleanup and click on the disk cleanup app. 
From this window, come down to clean up system files. This is going to calculate how much space we can save on our hard drive. So just give that a couple of seconds to calculate. Once that's done, you need to select all of the boxes inside of here, unless there's anything that you want to keep, but most of these things are safe for deleting. The only thing that you might want to keep is this downloaded program files. If there's anything in your downloaded folder that you want to keep, then obviously uncheck this. Everything else we can just leave checked and then go ahead and press OK. Click on delete files and then you'll just need to leave that for a few minutes while it deletes all of your files. Next thing we need to do is come over to the start menu and search for adjust the appearance. This will bring up this window here, adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And you can either do two things here. We can either just select adjust for best performance or if you want the same settings as me, then come over to custom and you just need to deselect everything inside of here apart from animations in the taskbar, enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Everything else you can leave unchecked and then just press apply and OK to save your changes. Finally, we're going to come back over to the start menu, search for control panel and click on the control panel window. Make sure view by is set to large icons and then select power options. Inside of the power plan settings, just make sure you have this high performance mode selected. Then we can close out of here. And finally, we're going to head over to the Steam application and we're now going to launch the PUBG Battlegrounds game. So once you've launched up PUBG, we're just going to head inside of the settings and we're going to change some graphic settings. So the first thing you want to do is make sure display mode is set to full screen. Resolution, we can set this to our native monitor screen size. Smoothed frame rate, you want to enable this. Then we're going to head over to the advanced tab. Render scale, you need to set this between 70 to 90. I'm just going to set mine to 80. FFP camera FOV, I'm going to set this to 100. And then overall graphics quality, we're going to leave this at custom. Anti-aliasing, we're going to set this to very low post processing also set to very low shadows we're going to set to very low textures very low effects very low foliage very low view distance we're going to set this to medium sharpen disable v-sync disable and motion blur disable also for the direct x version i'm using direct x 11 you can try to increase this to direct x 12 you just need to figure out which one works better for you but for my computer direct x 11 enhanced is the best one and then we can just press apply and that's it guys by following all of the steps in this video that should have now fixed any lag or stuttering issues you were experiencing if you did find this video helpful then please consider dropping a like and subscribing and until next time